Hey everybody, Paul Richards here from PTZ Optics. And in this video, I wanna show you how to set up your camera for streaming. Now I covered this in detail actually in the PTZ Camera Operator Handbook. So check out the networking section of this book. You can download it for free in the links below. But today I wanna to go over exactly how you can set up your camera for streaming. I'm gonna use a PTZ Optics Move SE here. And you'll notice on this camera, that I have it connected to the network. So one of the first things you're gonna do, you'll see here, if I take this ethernet cable here, plug it right in to the back of the camera, that's gonna power the camera on. Uh, so it'll do its happy dance here. And uh, that's how you know the camera's on, it's powered up, and we can connect to it over the network, um, which is how the camera streams, right? So the camera will stream directly to YouTube, to Facebook, to any destination that you'd like over a network connection. So it is important that your camera is connected to your network. Now, one of the cool things about PTZ Optics cameras is that we can go to ptzoptics.com slash local. OK, you don't you no longer need to know the IP address of your camera to connect to it. When you connect to it to your um, local area network, as long as your computer's on the same network, you can type in PTZ optics dot local into your web browser and it will pull up this camera. So really cool. It's all you got to do. PTZ optics dot local forward slash. And then the username and password is admin, admin. And that will take you into what we call the web UI of the PTZ Optics camera. And you can then control the camera, okay, using these controls. And we'll go over a few of those. And you can then start uh, getting ready to set up your camera to live stream, right? That's what we're talking about today, how to set up your camera for live streaming. So on the left-hand side is all of these tabs here. And if you don't see them, you can just click this button up here to open the menu. Um, and we're just gonna go over some of the important settings to set up your camera for live streaming. So first of all, uh, make sure obviously that your image and everything is set up properly for your camera. You probably wanna set up your camera in a manual exposure mode and get your iris and shutter where you like it with the right amount of gain, right? Because you want the video to look correct and you can go through the color settings and all of this. Now, if you're just getting started with PTZ Optics, I highly recommend that you download our free software. So we have a PTZ Optics camera management platform, the CMP. This is a great piece of software to get started. Color matching, controlling, setting up your camera, all of that. I highly recommend getting the camera management platform as a good starting point um, to live stream your camera because you do want all your settings perfect before you jump into uh, live streaming directly off the camera, which is what we're going to show you how to do today. Now in the audio and video tab, this is where you can set up your IP video stream. H.264 is generally perfect, but you can do H.265, which will use less bandwidth and be higher quality. Although H.265 is a little newer and it doesn't have quite the same support. Now I'm using a PTZ Optics Move SE, so the, the top resolution is 1920 by 1080, but if you have a PTZ Optics Move 4K, for example, you can stream in 4K. So depending on which camera model you have, uh, even like our PTZ Optics Studio Pro here, uh, you will have different settings in the web UI here uh, based on what the cap camera is capable of doing. So for this camera, we'll do 1920 by 1080. There is a bit rate, okay? The bit rate is the quality of the video. So when you're setting up your camera for streaming, you do want to consider how much speed do you have? Um, now on ptzoptics.com in our documentation area, we have uh, a documentation for um, camera streaming settings here. So you can go to streaming settings and you can see what the different recommendations are for your camera. Um, you can also always test your internet speed simply right through um, Google here, and you can see I'm going to get 200 roughly megabits per second download speed. And then what we're really looking for actually is the upload speed. So I have 100 megabits right now of upload speed. I, wow, I guess my internet got better. 
Um, so we can obviously stream multiple cameras with that internet speed and and be really good. So you don't want your 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 streaming uh, bit rate here to be more than your upload speed. Um, and you can go all the way up to 102 megabits per second off the camera. Um, so look at these settings, take a look at our documentation to decide which setting is best for you and set all of this up. Once you've done all that, you can save it. Um, and the reason why there's two streams here is one stream is for your high quality stream out to YouTube or Facebook, et cetera. And the second stream is a lower quality stream. So you can see it's uh, maybe 1080p or sorry, only 720 or lower, uh, lower bandwidth, but easier to connect to and uh, get over your network. All right. So how do we actually stream to YouTube or Facebook? That is where we enter the stream URL and stream key for our cam for our uh, content delivery network, our CDNs. So that might be YouTube. That might be Facebook. We get the stream URL and the stream key, type it in there, and then we hit on and apply. That will start your first RTMP stream. So you can actually stream to YouTube and Facebook at the same time using RTMP stream one and two. So you can stream to two places and hit apply and you will start streaming as soon as that is on and you hit apply. Now, a little tip here about profiles, which is interesting, is that you can have a profile, let's say, for Facebook streaming. And if you use your persistent URL, the one where the stream key does not change, you can actually save all of this audio and video encoding and output settings into a profile. So if I go ahead, let's say I just, I'll just remove this outdoor one for now because uh, I want to show you how easy this is going to be. And what I'm going to do is I have my Facebook profile. And with a profile, you can actually call a specific preset. So if you're not familiar with PTZ presets, I'm just going to set one just to show you because this is pretty nice. Let's say I'm always sitting at this desk and this is where I want the camera to go. I'm just going to set that preset for preset two. I'm going to set one more just to show you an example of how these presets work. We'll set preset three here. What happens is, is when I call preset two, it goes directly back to that position. So that could be anywhere in your space where you want the camera to start streaming. The nice thing about this is in my profile here, I can have a Facebook profile that would have all my Facebook streaming information. I can have it call preset three and bring up all of my video settings, my image settings, et cetera, save that. And now when I call that preset, uh, it will go directly to there. So you can see I have a studio preset here. Now that I've changed my presets, I would have to reboot the computer, but essentially, which or the camera, which I'm not going to do right now, but essentially the presets will show up right here and give you the ability to quickly and easily start streaming to Facebook, start streaming to YouTube, have everything, call the presets and be ready for you. So it's really, really powerful. That is how you set up your camera for streaming let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. We're here to help. Don't forget to like this video. And uh, again, if you're just getting started with live streaming cameras, the PTZ Opter Operator Camera Handbook has so much information in here about how to set up your cameras, control them, uh, best practices. So let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.